Hey guys, it's Ness here at Cake Style. Today I am making a beagle cake because it is for my own daughter. She's turning 12 and she absolutely loves dogs and puppies. And I saw this gorgeous cake design of a beagle by Sweet Peach Cakes and she saw it and fell in love with it. So I really wanted to um, make a version of my own. This is such a cute cake and I made it with uh, my vanilla bean and passion fruit cake recipe. Basically the cake is a vanilla cake. It's the usual vanilla cake that I make a lot of the time, but this time I baked it in three pans so it made it nice and fluffy and it also made the cake really tall. I've then got vanilla bean buttercream and some passion fruit syrup. Now, if you love passion fruit flavor, but you don't love the seeds as much as we do, then you can go ahead and create a passion fruit curd instead. But I promise you, passion fruit and vanilla bean is just a, such a great flavor combo. And it's Honey's absolute favorite cake flavor right now. So you wanna fill it, then you wanna chill it. And then I'm gonna do a crumb coat along the outside of the cake. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is we're gonna chuck this into the fridge again for about 15 minutes. And then I've tinted the buttercream that was left in a gorgeous brown shade. It's like a honey kind of brown shade. It's not a chocolate brown. It's slightly in that mid kind of range and it's got a lot of life to it still because browns can tend to be a little bit flat. I used a Mary Color uh, chocolate brown food color to get this and it just seems to have a slight hint of, of sort of warmth or pinkishness to it. And this is perfect for the beagle. Now I'm not gonna worry about doing the top of the cake um, because you're not gonna see it. All you're gonna see is all of the detail and the piping that we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to do the ears. Now the ears are made out of modeling chocolate. Um, you can use normal milk chocolate or if you have some modeling chocolate made up with white chocolate already, you can go ahead and just tint it with the chocolate brown. Roll it out on parchment paper so that it's easy to move. And then we're gonna whack this into the fridge for two minutes only. And that's just gonna help it to set up. And then I'm gonna carve the shape. Now, there's no magical way of knowing what shape is gonna work. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna start carving a bit away and then look at the cake, lift it, pick it up. Don't worry if you get a little bit of buttercream on this modeling chocolate, cause it's gonna be on the cake anyway. And then just keep making little adjustments. I'm gonna pop that into the fridge and then I'm going to use that and create a mirror image. So I wanna flip over and you can see, yeah, I did get a little bit of buttercream on that, but that's okay. And you just wanna make an exact replica, but it's the opposite. So then it's not a replica, is it? It's an opposite. I want you to make an opposite one. Okay, and then we're gonna pop those onto the cake just by pressing them down. Now the scariest part, which is to do the face. So um, basically I'm taking a toothpick and I just wanna mark out where the face is a little bit. Um, if you're anything like me, trying to make both sides perfect is gonna be a huge challenge with this cake. Um, but you just wanna start by marking it out because the last thing you wanna do is pipe a little splodge of a color into the wrong spot. So get it all sorted out with a toothpick and mark it all out and it'll make it so much easier. Now I'm taking the exact same shade that I used on the side of the cake and I'm going to pop it into a piping bag with a 17 star tip, which is a small star tip. And I just wanna start at the top of the cake cause that's the easy bit. So you always wanna start that first. Just do a couple of rows on top and then work your way around those ears. Don't do the ears cause they're gonna be a little bit darker shade, but you just wanna start framing the face. So follow the line and just create a bit of a curve around on both sides, but leave the middle plain to do our white. Now the white is super white and what I did was I didn't actually use my sweet buttercream. I just used uh, shortening 
and some icing sugar um, because it's only a small amount of the cake so it doesn't matter that it's not going to be quite as buttery it's really really important that you make it ultra white so however you choose to make ultra white buttercream you just want to make sure it's a really crisp white shade Now I've left a little space for his tongue because we're gonna slot that in and then pipe over the top. But otherwise, you just wanna go ahead and pipe the whole rest of it white. Then with the leftover brown, I'm adding some more chocolate brown, that Americolor shade, and this is for the ears. Same piping tip, but we just wanna go a little bit darker in the color so that they pop and you really see them. This is such a cute design um, and if you check out Instagram you can find a whole bunch of different puppy cakes and things like that with adorable little faces like this. Um, I really love seeing what everybody else makes in cakes and getting ideas and yeah this was just a really cool cake when Hunt picked this out I thought it was just adorable and I was so excited to do this one. Um, basically all we need to do is that piping and then add some little accents. So I'm going to roll out a little bit of pink fondant. Um, you can use modeling chocolate or fondant. It doesn't really matter. It's not a large piece. So just use what you have and what you like. And you just want to create a slight curve and then make sure you texturize it by using a toothpick through the center. So it looks more like a tongue. And then just pipe to hide that in. Now I'm taking black modeling chocolate because I just tinted some of the brown with um, Americolor Super Black and I want to make two perfectly equal eyes which is so hard so just go ahead and take your time, roll it, flatten it and just make sure you're really happy before you pop them on. Just give them a little press and they will stay there. The buttercream is still pretty soft at this point so that's all good. Now make a little triangle and flatten it out to make his nose. And the final touch is to add little, little tiny dots of white fondant into the eyes just to give it um, some a real glow and basically just to make them really pop. I'm gonna chill this cake for about 15 minutes just to make sure that it's nice and easy to pick up. And then I'm gonna pop it onto a cake board. Now you can place it onto a cake board now or you could have done it when you did your smooth coat. It really doesn't matter. Um, but you just want to make sure that you get it on nice and firm with some buttercream. If you're traveling, be sure to add royal icing instead so that you know it really is stuck down well. And there we have the beagle cake for Honey's birthday. Um, I think it turned out really adorable and I am really excited to show her. I think that she's gonna be blown away. She loves all things puppies at the moment and I just thought this was super cute and a really cool idea. Um, if there's something else that you've been seeing around and that you'd love to see me have a go of, be sure to leave some details um, and comments below for me and remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you with another cake next week.